to subscribe! <laughs> it was a morning crong. like any other. Crong, crong. Krong suddenly coughed and his nose began running. Worried, Bororo told Krong. Krong, I think you've come down with a cold. Let's go to the hospital. Krong was startled and yelled at Bororo. Krong, I hate hospitals, Krong. Hospitals are scary, Krong. What? No, Krong. Hospitals are not a scary place. Bororo and Krong went to the hospital. Krong, there's the hospital. Let's go there together. Well, let's get in the hospital. Bororo and Krong went into the hospital. Krong still seemed scared. Krong, you don't have to be so scared. Krong, Krong. Dr. Loopy greeted Bororo and Krong happily. Hello. Hello. Krong, Krong. Bororo explained everything to Dr. Loopy. This morning, Krong suddenly began coughing and got a runny nose. Well then, let's check Krong's temperature first. Hmm, you have a slight fever. Shall we go and see the doctor? Krong jumped and hid behind Bororo and said, Krong, doctors are scary, Krong! Bororo calmed Krong down. Krong, you don't have to worry too much. Doctors are not scary. Bororo and Krong arrived at Dr. Petty's office. Krong, you can explain how sick you are to the doctor. Dr. Petty. Hello, my friends. What seems to be the problem? Starting this morning, I have had a fever and my nose keeps running. Krong. Oh, dear. You must have been in pain. I'll start your examination first. Examine Krong with the stethoscope. After the examination, Dr. Petty told them, You have a cold. You must have had some pain. But don't worry. You'll be better in no time if you take medicine. Krong was worried, but felt relieved and smiled after listening to the doctor. Now shall we go and get the medicine, Krong? Let's go to the pharmacy. Let's go inside the pharmacy. Bororo and Krong went into the pharmacy. Krong still seemed scared. Krong, don't worry too much. Eddie greeted Bororo and Krong happily. Hello. Hello. Bororo explained everything to Eddie. So, Dr. Loopy told Krong to take these medicines. I see. I'll prepare the medicine for you. Touch the medicine on the screen. Here is the medicine. Take this three times a day, and you'll be better in no time. Thank you, Krong. After all the treatment, Bororo and Krong happily went back home. How was that, Krong? It's not scary at all, right? You are right, Krong. Everyone is kind and polite, Krong. 
Krong promised Bororo that he would go to the hospital whenever he became sick. Oh no! It's an emergency! Press the button to find out what's going on! <laughs> I will destroy Bororo's power! The people are in danger! He will pull me! You won't get away with this! Tap and hold the button to start transforming! Yup! Iron Bororo! Transformation complete! Keep your friends out of danger! Protect the villagers! Ah, I'm so scared! 
Snow Queen powers! Yeah. Big Sister, the ice bridge is amazing! <laughs> Snow Queen Loopy! Come! Oh no! It's an emergency! Press the button to find out what's going on! Detective Eddie! Look at my map and help me find the treasure! Oh! I have a new case! Detective to the rescue! Tap on the whole button to start transforming! Detective Eddie, transformation complete! Oh no! The treasure map has been ripped apart! Entrance of the cave with a treasure. Oh! 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 Yeah! Oh! Yeah! Find the missing key in the maze. Oh, 
Let's gather all the colors. Potion. Pour the colors into the pot. <laughs> Put in the other ingredients. Return the colors to the village. Ago, Geppetto Poby, the lonely carpenter, lived all by himself. So Poby carved a doll out of wood that looked like a real child. I have finished. Your name will be Pinocchio Pororo. <sighs> if only you were real. That moment, a fairy appeared with a flash of light. Yikes! Hello, I'm Loopy the fairy. I have come to make your wish come true. Abracadabra! As Loopy's wand started to light up, Bororo came to life. Father! I don't believe this! Thank you so much! Now you are my son! Poby was so happy that he had a son now. Bororo, if you prove to be good, someday you will become a real boy! But be careful! Because if you lie, your nose will grow long! Yes, ma'am! Then with a spark of light, Loopy vanished. It didn't take long for Poby and Bororo to get along as father and son. Dad, you're my favorite! I love you too, my son.
One day, the two went out to the sea. Bororo was excited because it was his first time seeing the ocean. Wow! The ocean is endless! <laughs> Do you like it that much? Suddenly, a giant whale emerged from the water and swallowed them up. <laughs> Poby couldn't find a way out of the whale's dark stomach. He felt helpless. <laughs> Are we going to die like this? Dad, let me handle this. Wow! Every time Bororo lied, his nose grew longer. With his long nose, Bororo tickled the whale's blowhole. The whale's body rocked as it laughed. <laughs> it tickles! Soon after, the whale spouted water out of the blowhole, and Poby and Fordo flew out. The two flew into the air and landed back on the land. Whoa! We made it! Just then, Loopy the fairy appeared in front of the happy father and son. Bororo! I was moved by your kind love towards your father. I shall turn you into a real boy. Abracadabra! As Loopy swirled her wand, Bororo turned into a real person. Oh, Bororo, my son. From that moment, Poby and Bororo lived together happily. Once upon a time, in the kingdom of Poby, there was a beautiful princess named Snow White Petty. Father! Oh, my daughter, the most beautiful girl in the world. But there was an evil queen in the kingdom. She was Princess Petty's stepmother. Hmm. I am more beautiful than Petty. The jealous queen asked her magic mirror. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? It is, of course, Princess Petty. Loopy was filled with anger, so she called a huntsman and told him to get rid of Petty. The huntsman followed the queen's orders and kidnapped Petty while she was in the garden. Eek! Help me! Then the huntsman pushed Petty down the hill. I'm sorry, Krong. I'm scared of the queen, Krong. When <coughs> Petty woke up from the fall, she saw seven dwarfs surrounding her. Who... who are you? <coughs> Don't be afraid, princess. We are the Rainbow Dwarves! What? Rainbow? <laughs> you guys are so cute! From then on, Petty lived together with the dwarves in their home. But one day, the dwarves were away, and a strange old woman came to the house. Beautiful girl, will you please buy an apple? An apple? Hmm... 
just try one first. Thank you. Oh no! As Petty ate the apple, she fainted and fell down. <laughs> Did you like my poisonous apple? Now I am the fairest of them all. <laughs> Satisfied, Loopy returned to the castle. The dwarves took good care of the princess, but she didn't wake up. <laughs> I wish someone would come and help wake our princess up. <laughs> Just then, a prince on a horse was passing by. I am Prince Poodle from the neighboring kingdom. I shall gift a kiss to the sleeping princess. As soon as Poodle kissed Petty, she opened her eyes. Are you okay, princess? Oh, prince! Soon, the king found out about everything and became furious. What? Lock away the evil witch at once! Oh, oh, I'm sorry! Loopy was punished by the king, and Prince Pororo and Princess Petty had got married happily. <laughs> I love you, Prince Pororo! Rapunzel Loopy lived on the top floor of a tall tower, imprisoned by a witch. The witch always climbed Loopy's hair to get up to the tower. Never leave this place! <laughs> Loopy was afraid of the witch, so she didn't dare to try and leave. But Loopy was always lonely. I wish I could play with friends, too. Just then, she heard a voice. Hello there! Is somebody up there? Hi! I'm Prince Petty. I'm sorry, but could you share some food with me? Some food? Sure! <laughs> Prince Petty climbed Loopy's hair to get up to the tower. Loopy gave Petty some delicious cookies. She also showed him her favorite dolls. Petty came to like Loopy. Would you like to leave with me? I could introduce you to some of my friends. <laughs> really? Petty tied some clothes and curtains together to make a long rope. Come! Let's climb down this rope! Wow! Sounds great! Everything outside the tower seemed new to Loopy. <laughs> Do you like it? Petty took Loopy to his castle. Wow! Do you really live here? Of course! I'm a prince! Petty had lots of friends. All the friends thought Loopy's long hair was amazing. Your hair is so beautiful! <laughs> Come and hang out with us! Loopy played jump rope with her new friends. <laughs> this is so fun! Yay! This is amazing! Just then, boom! The witch appeared. 
Did you think I wouldn't know that you ran away? <gasps> Loopy was frightened, so her friends decided to help her. You evil witch! Don't be mean to my friend! Here goes nothing! The friends used Loopy's hair to catch the witch. Ouch! You rascals! Well, they tied up the witch with Loopy's hair. <laughs> I'm sorry. Serves you right. After defeating the evil witch, Loopy lived happily ever after together with her friends. My hair is shorter now, but I'm happy that I have you guys. Hehehe. <laughs>